Mark, I wanted to take a minute to talk about some of the predators of purple martins. Um, certainly, you know, when anything lives in a big group like that, they're a bit more attractive to predators. Oh, you're exactly mm -hmm. right. And, and predators are one of those things that we don't like to think about, but we have to think about them because, mm -hmm. like you said, it is a reality of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, there are sort of two types of purple martin predators. There are those that uh, approach on land and those that approach through the air. Okay. Uh, you've got here a wonderful baffle here. This mm -hmm. is for land predators such as rat snakes, uh, raccoons, and mm -hmm. possums. This is a, a baffle that goes around the pole, mm -hmm. it clamps around the pole, and so if a snake tries to come up the pole, it will get sort of stopped by, okay. by this baffle. Mm -hmm. Same with a raccoon. Now, um, a lot of people think that by putting a Martin house on a metal pole that they have thwarted predators mm -hmm. like rat snakes and raccoons. Sadly, a, a, a metal pole will slow them down, but it won't stop them. Okay. So a predator guard is really important. And in terms of snakes, really it's only rat snakes that are good climbers. There, there aren't any other species mm -hmm. of snakes that are gonna climb up into a Martin house, but But, but we have those throughout will. Oklahoma, so we definitely have to be vigilant. You're exactly mm -hmm. right. The, the aerial predators are a little bit trickier. Uh, there are uh, predators such as owls that will attack boxes uh, at night. Uh, and by having a deep box like this one where the compartments are almost a foot deep, that's a wonderful deterrent to owls because an owl will try to land on this platform, stick its leg in to grab martens, and if you have a deep enough box, the martens can safely sit back here uh, away from the owl. Uh, the old conventional six, you know, six inch deep compartments really are, are no match for an owl's <laughs> leg or foot. Okay. Uh, the other type of predators are things like uh, Mississippi kites and Cooper's hawks, which uh, will go after particularly young martins that are recently fledged. Uh, unfortunately, there's not much you can do to the box, but, you, but location is very important in, in kind of dissuading those predators. By having your martin house out in an open spot that's at least 40 to 60 feet away from trees, uh, it, it prevents a, a hawk or a kite from ambushing your martens. Mm -hmm. It also gives the martens a little bit of time, a little bit of space to build up speed to fly away. A martin can outfly a, a hawk or a kite. They just need a little bit of lead time to do it. Okay. Well, I think that if we're going to, you know, be good landlords and put out a house, we definitely want to take some precautions, protect our birds against predators. I agree.